and welcome everybody hey it's john the net guy oh man what a day uh you know you prep for a while for this prime day stuff and you think you got everything figured out and at the last minute it all changes it's so funny um we're taking a look at prime early access sale items today i got a whole bunch of amazon related items because you know what these things i'll tell you they are anywhere from 50 to 68 percent off which is crazy so amazon's clearing them out they're blowing them out there are products here that i literally got yesterday because i didn't know they existed and i never had gotten one and i was like wait this is going to be on sale okay i have to try it so um, i've got a few items that i'm going to go through i'm going to check the chats real quick this is the first of two shows today we've got two shows going absolutely let me say welcome to the folks here welcome everyone in the amazon chat if you're not watching me on amazon do me a favor, hit the Amazon link that's down in the description if you're on one of those other services and get over to the Amazon one and give me a follow because I need to get those followers boosted up. I'm trying to go by the end of the year to the A-list. I got three months to get to A-list and only a couple major events. I want to check on the chat. There's a couple people I got to say hi to at the start here. Jonathan Talks Hardware, great YouTube channel. Awesome. It's been two weeks since he st I you streamed. Yes, it has. Um, we had a stomach bug go through here. See what happens? You have a bunch of kids, and then they stay out of school for a long time for the summer, and then they all go back to school, and they all get whatever the, the kids had at school. So that was, you know, expected. Then they were down about a week. I thought I was clear. I was like, oh, I'm going to be the only one that made it through. I'm not going to get sick. So I, I missed one stream taking care of them. And sure enough, I got it that Sunday last, <laughs> last Sunday, and I was like, oh, no. Horrible, horrible stomach flu. So went through that and uh, went on from there. It was pretty cool. Um, so now it's Tuesday, the third Tuesday here, and it just happens to also be falling on prime early access sale day. So lots of cool products to go through here. I'm going to have a few things that are going to be in the carousel that I'm pulling up here. Let me do that real quick here. There's some great values that I'm going to tell you about. Uh, one of the first ones, and I need to find it in the carousel here, Oh, is the Echo Dot third gen. Let me pull that up here on Amazon as well. And give me a shout out if you're on Amazon watching. That would be awesome. Uh, would love to hear about it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where you can find all these deals. That's another thing that people are always wondering about. It's like, okay, so you're talking, you're showing me all these things. How can I get to them? If you're on any of the other services watching, just go down into the video description, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, even I've, I've put it everywhere. Uh, go to the video description and it's going to actually show you um, some of the products. So it's going to link to the, the product page there. I have an idea list. That's the second way to do it. Let me share my idea list here with you guys. So if you go to my Amazon shop, that's that URL that you're seeing in the corner there. I'm going to take that out of the way so you can see what we got. You're going to see me live there. I'm a little bit delayed. It's okay. Um, and you're going to see the different products while I'm live. Look at all those blue. The blue means awesome. Those are awesome early access deals that you're getting. A lot of people are shopping way early this year, and I cannot blame you for shopping way early. Uh, we just don't want to have supply chain issues, ruin our holidays. We want to get some really great deals. First item, and you can see my two idea lists here that are pinned. So if you actually go into the idea list, maybe you're catching this on replay. Maybe we're not live here. But if you go to my idea list, you're going to see all the things that we're going to talk about today and some of the incredible values. But if you go in here, it's, you know, an older item. This is the third gen Echo Dot. And if you're not a big fan of, I'm not going to use her name, but the Echo uh, ecosystem, we are all in. <laughs> we, you could see my little pop up here on price history, 55% drop in price on this $17.99. And you know what? This thing works just as good as the day that it was made. Give me one second here. I'm going to mute myself and I'm going to set this one's name to something else. Give me one second. computer on this device in a few seconds i'm being very nice and i'm going to change her name right now to computer here so that you won't have to fight with this thing but this is the device right here in my hand 17.99 a hundred what is that oh 965 000 reviews uh four and a half stars or better it looks like computer tell me a joke why did the gamer quit playing call of duty 
his duty called. Yeah, you have classics like that. How could you not go for things like that? Uh, there's a couple things I need to add to my shopping list for Prime Early Access. One of them is the Fire TV Stick 4K, which great value as well. So I'm going to tell her to add that. Computer, add to my shopping list the Fire Stick 4K. I've added Fire Stick 4K to your shopping list. Which is pretty cool, right? So we're talking about an ecosystem here, right? So this is just one piece of that entire ecosystem. Uh, let's go over here, and I'm going to jump over to my Fire TV, which I have over here. Again, this is all that Amazon ecosystem. Let's see if it can do it. Show me my shopping list. I've never tried this. We'll see what happens. Look at that. Okay, so top of it is... Fire Stick 4K, YouTube 1 million subscribers, iPhone 12 Pro Max. That was a little bit old. <laughs> uh, new Children and Garam Masala. So you can actually create shopping lists. You can use these as a personal digital assistant, which is awesome. Um, then you can do some cool stuff if you have that. I could just say, print my shopping list. Now, this is actually going to be printing out of my ecosystem enabled printer upstairs. I've got an Epson printer. Talk about cool. So now you've got this whole thing working. I'm going to say, remove the Fire Stick 4K from my shopping list. There we go. And now it's off the list. So whether you have a screen or not, you can actually use these things as part of this whole ecosystem. So recipes, reminders, weather, smart home automation. I control everything in my house with these. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to check the chats real quick. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Jonathan's saying it's primarily access, but I'm saving my money to pay my subscription services. Absolutely true. I'm going to check the chat real quick. Uh, a lot of people here are checking out the Echo Dot third gen. Thanks for checking in. This, again, one of my favorites at $17.99. It is going to be one of the cheapest. It's not the cheapest product today. One of the cheapest products under $20, 55% off, like we said. That's a great deal. Now, um, music, if you're into music, I do like this one for music. It's a solid player. We have these in our RVs. We use these every single night as a sound machine in our kids' room. So you can say, computer, play the sound of rain. Now, soft controls on top, so you can push these buttons. So hopefully you can see that. This one's all beat up because it's from my kids' room, but... Hopefully you can hear that. So it's playing a sound on a loop. Computer stop. So it's going to stop playing that there. But yeah, so voice control. Another really cool thing is if you have, like we have teen daughters, we want to have an Alexa compatible device in their room, but we don't want something with a camera, obviously, for safety. So, you know, these things are great. They use them as a wake-up alarm, which is another important thing. Now you're going, why didn't these all wake up when I said that? Well, you can say it, and actually I'm going to put most of these on mute here because <laughs> I don't want them to wake up. So uh, just taking a look quickly at the chat. If you are in the chat, let me know what kind of deals you're picking up today. Did you pick up one of these Echo 3rd Gens? If you did, you did a great job. There's another one that I want to tell you about here, which is their next generation of it, and that is the Echo 4th Gen. I'm going to pull that up right now. Now, this is only a few bucks more, but to be honest, I think you have to be a very special consumer for both of these. So let me show you what they look like here on the top-down camera. So that's the, the two devices right there. They're both the, the white look of the devices. You know what? I'm going to turn this other light off <laughs> temporarily. I think it's throwing my camera off. So both white, uh, but you can see the size difference. When I hold this on its side especially, this is the fourth gen in my left hand, third gen on my right hand. Significant weight difference too. I'm going to pull you guys up here on the side so you can actually see this, just how massively bigger this is. Lots of weight here. I was actually playing with my nerd friends last night and uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny. We were, we were messing around with this. I'm going to set the name on this one too. Call yourself computer. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Change your wake word to computer. Okay, you can call me computer on this device in a few seconds. So I'm going to do that just to help you guys all out. So I'm not changing your devices remotely here right now. But this is the Echo 4th Gen. Now, uh, biggest difference on these is size, obviously. 
the size went into the audio. So if you want something that reminds me a lot of like the Bose wave radio, the room filling sound, they've really gotten better at that. Uh, other things that you can do, and I'm going to try to see if I can do this right now. Uh, if you're just tuning in, it's John the Net Guy. We're taking a look right now at all of the deals that Amazon's putting out today. I'm just going to pop them up here. You can actually visit that URL down below if you want to see all of the items in there. If you're on Amazon, thank you guys, by the way, that are on Amazon, you can actually connect right up with me. Uh, the biggest difference on this one is actually the room filling sound. So if you wanted to save a little bit of money, you could go with this $17.99 one. It wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. If you went with the $24.99 one, this is half the price that it normally was. I'm just double checking that. Yeah. 50% off, so it's normally 50 bucks. This is half the price. Buy two. <laughs> get one for another room that maybe you didn't have before, or get one as a gift. You know, we're being able to buy these things way earlier here. So I'm going to say, computer, connect to my phone. This is how easy it is. So I've got my phone here. Now, go to the Bluetooth settings on your mobile device and choose Echo dash one nine. Now connected to Bluetooth. So there we go. That was how easy it was to connect. And I'm actually going to get some uh, royalty free music here. And I'm going to play some royalty free music for you because I don't want to get in trouble by not playing royalty free music. And we'll see if we can hear it out of this. So again, much better sound quality out of the Echo 4th Gen, a lot larger size, a bigger diameter speakers. We'll pull those up here on Amazon. You'll see it as well. So if you're an audiophile, you can definitely get this. They even sell a subwoofer add-on now for these. Um, and you can pair them and have whole home audio. And you can mix and match. So if you wanted to get a couple of these for the kids' rooms and you wanted one of these for your living room, that's a great combination. You can actually play a song or an announcement on all of your devices at once. Let me do that real quick. Announce that the show is starting. Announcing. The show, the show is starting. starting. <laughs> so uh, we use those announcement features for dinner or anything else that's going on like that. And it just echoed out of all of my devices at the same time here. doesn't require acknowledgement, but you can see you can very easily uh, just tell it to do something. And then that is what it follows up with. So pretty cool feature here. That's the fourth gen. Let me pull it up on Amazon. It's in the carousel right now if you guys are watching. And uh, I still got my, my background music going. Maybe I'll leave that going here for a little bit. So yeah, very good audio quality out of this. And if you're on Amazon, uh, you know, give me a shout out. Tell me where you're from. That would be really cool. And if you bought anything today, that would be really slick here. Um, he's using headphones. Plus, I'm in a school apartment, so no Echo devices here. Sorry about that, Jonathan. Yeah, you kind of have to have uh, your own place there. But we'll get there. So <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much again. I'm going to pull up the Amazon. And we're going to take a look. So this was the third gen that I told you about that was a great deal. Comes in multiple colors, which is cool. So this is the charcoal gray. I like this one. Um, this is one of my favorites. We actually have both the grays and the white ones. If I go back out here, the one we were just looking at was this larger one. Now it comes in several different colors. Let's look at here if the one I linked to has it. But this is the charcoal version that I linked to. But there's a white version. I believe there's a blue. Don't hold me to that. Let's take a look at the ratings, though. The other one had 965,000 ratings, right? So there's a little bit more about it that you can see. There's your mic volume buttons. It's got this light ring at the bottom, which I could take it or leave it. You know, honestly, I don't need that all the time. So... That's another interesting thing you know, that makes it different. Uh, but they've been continuously improving this one as well here. So um, looking at the speakers on this one, you've got 1.6 front firing speaker, it says. Uh, and that is the Echo Dot 4th Gen. Uh, definitely a lot better sound, like I said. It's coming along. So you can see that one. I'm going to go back out. And we're going to start taking a look at some of the other products here. So the next one up is going to be the Fire TV Stick. Now, I put the 4K one on here and people are going to be like, well, maybe I don't have a 4K TV. It doesn't matter. Hey, Angela is watching from Fresno, California. Welcome, Angela. Hopefully you don't have any rolling blackouts. Uh, sorry to hear about that. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. Yes, hopefully, it's been a good summer. We're getting some fires around here locally, and that's been annoying. Just taking a look here. I didn't have the carousel set up with this. Let me edit my carousel real quick. I want to make sure I just add an item to the carousel for you guys real quick. A couple of these things changed last minute. And I want to make sure that they're on the stream for you guys. Okay, so we added some items to the carousel. Let's see if I can click on them for you. And we're going to jump over to the Fire Stick 4K. And so some of you guys are saying, well, why, do you, why does it matter You know, if I've only got 1080p or, or HD? Why do I need the fancier version of the Fire TV Stick? Well, to be honest, the pricing has gotten so incredibly competitive on these. I've been a big Roku fan for a very long time. And these ones have swayed me over to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that, and if you have Prime, it's one of those ways you can save money. So if you've got Prime already, you're going to get Amazon Music. You're going to get Amazon Prime Video. You're going to get a lot of those other capabilities. And there's a bunch of free books that come with Prime that you can, can read and watch on some of the devices that we're going to talk about here in a little bit. Um, one of the things that I really do like is, again, the ecosystem here. I can ask this device to play something on this device which is pretty cool. Um, other things, they made a Fire TV Stick Lite. I don't have the box here, but I've had it on my show before, and the Lite version didn't have volume control. It was totally stripped down, and I think it was $19. Um, this one literally is down to $24.99 right now for the Fire TV Stick. Now, this doesn't say 4K because this is not the 4K one, but the 4K one is $24, and I'd highly recommend you shoot for that one because it will downsample. So if your TV only is 720p, your old non-smart TV, plug it in, it'll play at 720p. But the chips are a lot faster in the 4K and the newest releases that they have. Um, you can even play video games on this, which is kind of funny. You can see actually here what all my kids watch now. They got Dora, Peppa Pig. Uh, we're going to a little bit of Umizumi. Yeah, there's that. And then you got some stuff I was watching, uh, RoboCop, because RoboCop, right? Uh, so you got media consumption opportunities in here. You also have other apps. I have this. I showed, oh, last week, oh, sorry, three weeks ago now, I showed my outdoor living space. I actually have this now in my outdoor living space. I have a larger, I have a 50-inch version of the TV, the Fire TV, and I'm able to access all of my channels, all my other stuff, my Plex server for all of my backed-up video that I have. So very, very, very uh, capable, powerful uh, and again, pricing is excellent on this. There are some other things you can watch. If we go over here, you can hit the top things. And hey, guess what? You can actually watch my YouTube channel on there. So just free plug there. Amazon Music, you've got that capability all from the remote. The other thing is, now this isn't going to automatically listen to it, but you saw me use this a couple times in lieu of one of these devices. So if you're not ready for a dot, you don't want one of these, but you want some streaming media... You can use that, and with this device, you actually have right there at the top, you've got your little button. That is going to kick off her name, which rhymes with Lexa. <laughs> so um, that's going to kick her off, and you can use this as a voice remote. So you don't have to do a lot. Play the net guy on YouTube. I'm going to see if it actually works. <laughs> Here we go. So let's see if it actually got something correct. It'll be interesting. Uh, no, that apparently is not my show. That looks like some sort of anime. But uh, that would be called Naruto. Naruto. Yeah, I should know that. <laughs> so it didn't do that right. But you can do that if we say something like play Peppa Pig. It'll figure out what I want. It'll take it. And it makes it just that much easier to get to something quickly for the kids. So they can start watching right away. Uh, don't have to deal with that. So that's pretty cool. JD says, yay. Awesome. Good to see you, JD. So again, lowest price I've ever seen on the 4K version. So I'd highly recommend you get that. $24.99 makes a great gift, turns dumb TVs into smart TVs, and pulls out that Echo ecosystem. Remember, I was saying that the show was starting. Computer, announce that it's time for dinner. Announcing. It's doing the cattle call. It's time for dinner. 
<laughs> so, you know, again, stops the kids' TV while they're mid. They, it's like you're on a flight and the captain dials in. But no, that's a built-in feature, and I can exit out of it real quick, go back to my show that I was watching. Uh, but that's a built-in feature to these is that ability to announce them, as I showed earlier. But again, we're talking about an entire ecosystem here. Angela's got a question on Amazon. Thank you for checking in. She says, quick question. Do I need one of those for each TV? For example, if my husband is watching TV in one room, do I need a separate fire stick to watch something else? Neither TV is Alexa. Yes, you will, Angela. You'll need one for each television. But honestly, once you get them, unless you have cable, which a lot of people are cable cutting nowadays, you probably won't be using it uh, as a normal TV anymore. Um, you can get a lot of your channels right now. And even if you have a cable subscription, so your husband's got, you know, his ESPN or whatever, I watch the ESPN over the fire stick all the time. And I watch other things, you know, and I'm using the internet rather than just over the air or a cable package. So you can save quite a bit of money and actually you can put your account usually on the fire stick. So yeah, $24.99 per TV. Another thing that I didn't mention is how incredibly portable these things are. I'm going to unplug it and the thing's going to go off here in a second, but, um, that's how small it is, right? So this thing with one USB, I actually have a picture in the review I did a while ago and I was at a hotel in Oregon and I didn't want the, the hotel's gated, you know, TV, whatever it was. I wanted to watch my stuff and I didn't want them tracking me. So I plugged this in to the HDMI on their TV. I plugged the USB into the service port and fired the TV up. I connected it to the hotel Wi-Fi through their little proxy thing and I was able to watch TV and my shows on the go and I didn't have to put my accounts on their TV. That's going to be a big dangerous thing when you're at a hotel. Some of them have Netflix. Like I forgot the other day and I used the hotel TV and I forgot to log out of my Netflix. So I just can't imagine what people are watching now. At least that's what I tell my wife. Um, so that was the Fire TV Stick 4K. That is literally something that I'm going to be picking up one or two of after the show just to have around, just to be able to give us gifts. Another thing that you can do is you can turn any old computer monitor, as long as it has HDMI, you can... I'm having trouble hearing. Oh, can sorry. Can you say that again? No, I can't. <laughs> she was... I forgot sorry. I renamed her. I didn't find the <laughs> but you can turn any old monitor into a, a television, essentially, with this. So you plug this in, and now you've got this tuner you know, which is going to get your internet TV shows. You're turning your old monitor into a smart monitor. Now what I did for this is we have a treadmill upstairs, which yes, I need to hit the treadmill a little bit more than I'm doing right now. But uh, I actually took and mounted this TV above the treadmill. It's an old monitor I have, sorry. And I plugged in my Fire TV stick and you can actually go on virtual runs. That's one of the things I showed in my other videos on this. Um, they've got like Peloton style apps. I'm not going to say it's as good or the same as a Peloton, but they've got Peloton style apps that you can throw on here and you can be jogging to this stuff. You know, you can be doing workouts. Actually, even my daughter just got a new app and a soccer ball um, that she can practice doing soccer with. So this group workout, group exercise is becoming a really cool thing. There are some serious deals. Again, I'm checking the chat here, make sure I didn't miss anything. There's some serious deals coming up today. Um, one of them is the Fire HD series. So I've got the Fire HD 8 here. I'm going to show you that on the side. I'm going to switch to that in the carousel as well. So a couple things about this. So this is the 8. This has an 8-inch screen. It's 720. Now it comes in two sizes. This is the 32 gig. And right now, that one is on sale for $44.99. Uh, that is a half off, again, sale. The, they're blowing these things out. You know, for an e-reader, if you're used to Kindles, this is an upgrade. You know, it's a color Kindle, basically, that can go on the web, that can watch YouTube and do other stuff. That said, there are some limitations to the Fire HD 8, uh, mainly speed. Uh, battery life was another thing, charging. So I've got two of them in here on the carousel right now. If you guys are just checking this out and you're just tuning in, this is John, the net guy. I do PC build tech tips, gear reviews, and Amazon live streams. So welcome. If you're looking for the deals, they're down here on this URL. I should put something cool up here on the screen. <laughs> I just can't play any video cause I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, we'll see. Oh, there we go. Gosh, I can watch my uh, early access sale. There we go. Oh, it's like a picture in a picture in a picture. <laughs> so, yeah, but you could do anything you want on these. I'm going to go ahead and exit out here. 
Um, but no, the Fire HD tablet, I've got these for kids before and they work really well. I'm going to do a quick unboxing here. Um, they are clearing them out. The things that are important on this is the speed uh, of them and the battery life. They've actually improved it. So in the carousel, there's actually two of them. There's the Fire HD 8 for $45, which if you have a kid or you're very patient, that's the one I have right here, you can get this one. It's got two gigs of RAM, 720 HD screen. So I'm going to just show you what it looks like here. Turn it on. So there it is. It's got the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my code in here away from you guys. Prying eyes. <laughs> there we go. And I was actually watching Peppa Pig. So now it's got it synchronized across here. I can go back here and maybe I'm going to read a book. So this is, again, we talked about that Kindle capability. So you can see it's taking its time to load, right? You know, that's one of the drawbacks on this one is it's not the fastest thing in the world, right? Um, but you know what? It, it, the price is right on it. I'll tell you that. Um, so $45 for what is a functional tablet. One of the things that my daughter has loved to play here, and I'm going to go ahead and replay it. This is Fruit Ninja. And I just totally missed that. So, you know, Fruit Ninja, this was a really popular game a while ago kind of like pokemon go i never checked if pokemon go can play on this thing but my daughter's really into that now so if we want them to have a tablet we want them not to damage it and we don't really care <laughs> uh for speed performance blinding you know like super oled displays this is a decent machine you know again it's a tablet one of the things that i love about this even better than the ipads is this feature right here and that's the ability to expand it with a micro SD. So if you've got a lot of photos or movies that you want to put on it, you throw those on a micro SD, you drop them on here, and now you really have unlimited storage. So gaming, another really cool feature of this, movie watching, all that. Again, as long as you're patient. There we go. Now it does have a gaming mode on here. So if you do switch it into gaming mode, you can do that. Um, if you want something a little bit faster, you don't want to be as frustrated as I have been before with these things. They do have a new model of it. I'm going to pull it up here on the carousel just so you guys can see it. And then we'll pull it up, uh, both of them on Amazon. We'll check them both out. So now we're going to be taking a look at the Fire HD. Let me get over here. We're going to look at the two ones. So I had the Fire HD tablet. This is the 8-inch design. And again, uh, 50% off the price right now. There's multiple color choices that you have here. So this one's going to come in a bunch of different colors. Uh, again, not super performant, but if you're a Kindle reader, this then definitely works. You can also do the Kindle lending library. Um, and because it's an Amazon device, it works well with that. That's another really cool feature. Now, if I go back out and you have to be really careful, uh, cause you can miss buy the wrong one really easily. This is the Fire HD 8 Plus tablet. Make sure you see that plus right there. Now, right now, this was $109 normally, 54. You can see the 50% off. My, my edge is ratting me out here with the deals. <laughs> so uh, $54.99 right now. So you're going to spend about $10 more. It's going to have three gigs of memory versus the original two that came with it. It's going to recharge in four hours instead of five. So it's got a faster charger included on the plus. Um, and it's going to have longer battery life, they say. So that's another cool thing. There is a feature with this that you can get now, which just came out. So uh, 12 hour battery and wireless charging and wireless charging is awesome once you start using it. Now I've shown on my channel a bunch of times, some cool different wireless MagSafe things. This one is very, I haven't seen an ecosystem yet around it. Um, very dedicated to the Amazon version. So you're going to be getting the Amazon version. It's also only available in slate. So if you're going to get the HD version, just remember, you're going to get one color choice. So if this is for kids, that's what you're stuck with. Now that said, if you've got kids, I think this is a great deal. I'm going to show you one other product that I just picked up actually, and we're going to unbox it together for the first time and install it. And that is one of those kids safe covers because even as durable as this thing is and as cheap as this thing is just for a few bucks more, I think this was $14 and I'll see if I have it in the carousel real quick. Yep. I'm going to pull this up and this is a case for said tablet. So if you get one of these tablets for kids, 14 
protects it. So this cool looking case, it's got little ears on it, also has pop out feet. Let me show you what that looks like here. So I'm on the bottom corner here for you guys. Those are little pop out feet on this one. And I'll see if I can show you one there. Um, the advantage of the pop out feet is obviously this. You can literally pop them out and you can set that down on a table. Now I've seen people use this at an airport. That's what really got me interested in purchasing this one specifically because a family came by, they had their Kindles, they had them in this case and they had the feet. So they were able to sit them at the airport like this. Now it's going to sit in two modes. It can have a vertical sit or if they're on the floor, they can do that. And that's the difference on this one specifically is because it's got those legs. It can sit this way or this way. There's a lot of these cases that don't have any legs. And unfortunately, you know, with no legs, you're not going to be able to set these up. The kids are going to drop them or they're going to have to wedge them against something. So that's another important thing. Uh, Jensen, thank you for uh, joining here on Amazon and hello to you as well. We're taking a look at a bunch of cool Amazon early access sale items. And apparently my Epson printer has decided it wants to install an update on my computer. Oh, well, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and install this. Just one thing to be really careful of. So I've got the item out here. I'm going to pull it up on the top down. Um, one thing to be really careful of when you're installing is the location of the camera. So if you want the kids, it doesn't really matter. If you want them to be able to hit the buttons, you go ahead and put it in this way. Now it's not going to have face ID. It's not going to have fingerprint scanners. And let me go ahead and put my code in here so we can go back and look at it. There we go. And we did fire up that said camera. So you can see that it's working. It's looking around my little studio and I'm going to exit back out of that. But now I have a case that I can use to hold this thing and it's protected on all sides. I think we should have like a drop contest, right? So we can totally drop this. And again, this one does have that lady who shall not be named capability. If you swipe down from the top, it's one of the options here. It's got a little person with an X on the voice. I turned it off. So if you don't have an echo dot, you don't have a show, which are going to come up here in a second. You don't have the fire TV stick or the fire TV. Um, you can use the fire HD tablet. So they've come up with a great ecosystem here. Um, you can use this to control your smart home, to do your automation, things like that. So very, very cool capabilities. Just wanted to show that out. And again, $44 for the HD8 tablet, which I have right here. And then $14 for this. It's a foam, like one of those high density foams. So it's not going to like tear or fall or anything, um, but it's definitely going to add a lot of protection. And like we said, you can just set it like that. So same screen size as your Echo Show 8. Now you can actually get this Echo Show a little bit cheaper. You don't have to recharge it. There's a bunch of advantages. So very similar in nature once you put this on here. Um, but then we also have the Echo Show 5, which I'll come into in a little bit too as well. So very excited to show all these products. And thank you for the follow, Jensen. I really do appreciate that. We're going to take a look at some other cool Amazon stuff here. So we went through already quite a few different Amazon products. Uh, lots of really cool stuff out there on this early access sale. If you're on Amazon or you're on YouTube or one of the other services, let me know what you're picking up today. Look at that. <laughs> Pinky says, Johnception. Uh, we have the picture in a picture. Yeah, absolutely, man. I don't know how many levels we're down here. Uh, looking through that as well. Just check and see if there's any other questions. The Echo 4th Gen is a great speaker because you don't need Wi-Fi to use it. Just plug in the Aux 2.5 and use them for surround sound. And it has Bluetooth. That's from Snake 7 Thank you, Double Snake, for providing that information. This is awesome. I love to be able to answer your questions. And uh, this is a use case which I really didn't cover, and I really do appreciate you letting me know about this. So on the back of this is an auxiliary in, so you can actually run... Um, you know, this either out to a speaker or it sounds like you can run it as a 3.5. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for that double snake. Awesome. And Nathaniel, thank you for the follow on Amazon. Good to see you <laughs> uh, on there. And I'm just looking through real quick. If we've got our next product up. So we've gone through quite a few products. The next product I wanted to show you was actually something that works again within the entire ecosystem. And I had it here a second ago. There's where we put it down. This is going to be my first unboxing of this device. Now, I've got a ton of these smart plugs. So these smart plugs allow you to control lights, 
toasters, other items. You know, I generally don't recommend using them with the resistive loads. So those are things that, um, you know, have a heater or heating element. I wouldn't use them with space heaters. I've seen from Wise, from everybody today, um, you know, I've seen these things fail. We always get dramatic pictures of them melted. But for the basic stuff, for regular lights, for LED lights especially, um, these things are great. Christmas lights are another huge opportunity for these ones as well. So I'm just doing a quick unboxing here. I'm opening it up right now. I'm just peeling this off. And one of the advantages of Amazon's ecosystem and all of their products is that you can pre-link them to your account. Now, I have no idea how they do this. Uh, we were talking in my nerd group last night. Is it like NFC, you know, communications or whatever? You know, we don't have any idea how they were able to get some of these pre-encoded because they have your Wi-Fi information and they're able to get connected. I'm actually looking here how I'm going to demo this for you. Uh, because my normal power supply strip is down there. Um, so actually, this is kind of funny. I'll show you here early access. Talk about early access. This is my cool power station. This is one of my favorite products lately. I This is the three uh, high tower. I've got a five high tower and two high upstairs. But I'm going to go ahead and take and plug this thing in here. And we're going to have that. And you know what? I'm actually going to plug the monitor into it so i can turn or actually let's plug the glow into it i'm going to plug that in so i'm going to plug in a device into it i'm going to go ahead and pull up my amazon app uh, nathaniel says does it have for type c um, and you're talking about the fire hd plus and hd8 yes both of those are type c usb type c hopefully uh, that's what you're asking on there. So we're just taking a look at the smart plug right now. Uh, I'm pulling this up here and uh, I'll show you the, the app now. This is on my show phone here. You can see that it has my announcements and it says, hey, a new plug was found. Isn't that crazy? So we still don't know how they've done this, but because it's part of that Amazon ecosystem, when you're checking out, just check the box that says link this to my account. Now, if it's a gift, don't check that box. <laughs> be nice. Uh, but check that box that says link this to my account and the setup could not be easier. So they called it the first plug. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of these. It's discovered 10 new devices here. So you can see a lot of these devices uh, were already there turned on and off. Um, so I can say, computer, turn off the first plug. So that actually turned off that plug there computer turn on the first plug so now it turned on the product that's going to be coming up here in just a little bit which was the uh, Amazon glow <laughs> I want to make sure I get this the echo glow I have to put that in there because actually uh, Amazon glow was uh, recently shuttered it was a, a different project it turns out now my camera's not doing justice on this this thing has a very bright green blue red light all that stuff but all I'm trying to do is show you real quick that I now have voice control over a device so I'm just tapping this to change its color there's a red color and I can say turn off the first plug instantaneously it happened and what it's doing is again, this is plugged into there. That's that top plug. Now, if you need manual override, let's say your Wi-Fi goes out and you want to turn it on, you can hit the button over here. Now, I've turned this on. Unfortunately, it's not like an instantaneous light, so it's going to take a second to turn itself back on because it's a smart light. Uh, but that's how that works. So very, very easy. It is $12.99 right now. Let's take a look at what that is. I'm just taking a look because I had to go into this cheat sheet format. That's 48% off. So they're normally $24. That one's 48% off right now. And that is the Amazon Smart Plug. Now, there are smart plugs from about a gazillion different manufacturers. <laughs> hey, Manny, guess what? I just saw you. Hey, hi. <laughs> he says he literally just found this channel. Well, Manny, uh, I am glad you are here. <laughs> and uh, Manny goes, I'm sure what you start. Uh, I'm unsure when you started, but any recommendations for a 240 hertz monitor specifically for gaming? Uh, the one you pointed out there, Manny, is pretty good monitor, and actually Scepter's got some great cheap 240s right now. So if you haven't looked at Scepter monitors, um, pretty good. 
I've got this ultra wide back here, less than $300, 34 inch ultra wide with 100 hertz. It's not, it's not 240, but again, the price to value leader, and that's an IPS. I use that for video editing. So a uh, little off topic there, but I appreciate that. <laughs> Gregory A. King, thank you so much for the follow on Amazon. I appreciate all you guys checking in. We're going to go show the uh, plug here from Amazon. So I'm pulling up again. If you guys are wondering, hey, John, how do I get to that information? If we go to captions, turn that on. That is my Amazon shop down in the corner. Amazon.com slash shop slash the net guy. When you go there, you're going to see if I'm live or not. You can follow, which is awesome. But you're also going to see my idea list. And this is my idea list that's got it right here. Now, the plug is in the upper corner there. And I can just pull that up real quick and you guys can see that. And so uh, plugs are fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Now, it had a couple use cases that it pointed out here. Um, lamp fan holiday lighting it is the time for these things humidifiers that's another great option and electric kettle electric kettle probably a little borderline you know you're talking 1200 watts i these things are good for 15 amps but like i said i caution people not to use these little smart plugs for stuff that's really high uh, amperage draw but holiday lighting is perfect you want to be able to turn on and off the christmas lights with a schedule you can do that this is an indoor use only but I got a show coming up here in oh, a little over an hour and <laughs> we're going to do a wise product show and they've got their outdoor waterproof plug if you want to do your outdoor Christmas lights. So right now, again, 50% off. Can't beat that. And look at the ratings on that thing. Amazing. Uh, 4.7 stars out of five on over half a million reviews. So definitely high quality product here. Another cool thing, you can stack them. So I've got some other cool products coming up here in the next few weeks. I have a smart surge strip, which you can turn on and off the different um, items within the surge strip, which is really cool. I've got that coming for another show. But, you know, these little plugs are the entry drug, I say, to a smart home. So if you're ready to, to make the plunge and become a smart home person, uh, these are your entry drug. This one, again, provides that uh, home automation. It does provide a usage estimate. So it's going to tell you how much energy it's using. I don't know if it's actually doing it, the calculation like the WISE version does. The WISE version actually does have a current uh, transformer, so it tells you how much current's going by. This one, I think, actually goes just based on the hours of day and what kind of device is plugged into it. So uh, again, works with all of your Echo devices and all of the things that are on today. The setup, as you saw, took, you know, 10 seconds. We plugged it in, and then it said, hey, we're already on. <laughs> so uh, you can rename it. You can have them different names. Uh, you know, my parents, I've even sent them smart plugs to try it out, and they were able to use them. They actually used them for their outdoor lighting uh, on their deck, which is pretty cool. So this one is an indoor only. Technically, it's not water resistant as far as I can tell. I just want to double check. We can see some of their use cases. You know, you can say turn on things like we showed and it will turn on and off items. So pretty cool there. Just checking in here and they've got their lights turning on and off. Now there they're showing the uh, coffee maker. You know, how many people have left the house and go, oh my gosh, did I leave the coffee maker on or off? You know, that's, that's always that fear that you have in the back. This can alleviate that fear. I can tell you our smart home is doing so good that when we tell this assistant, good night, I have a routine set up that turns the lights off downstairs. It locks the front door. It does a whole bunch of other stuff. It sets the, the humidity and thermostat on the furnace down. It does all that great stuff. And you can have that kind of smart home capability. This again, very, very entry level. Uh, basic item to get you started on that. So if you're just toe dipping in the pool, this is the cheapest item that I have on the show today. $12.99 for the smart plug from Amazon. And this one is the Amazon smart plug. There are a lot of different makers that have these, and there's a little bit of a difference on each one. It seems they kind of all take a different small tack on these, whether it's adding energy monitoring capability, uh, or other types of control, very different ways that they do them. So let's go back over here to our list. Just making sure I've got a lot of our products. The next ones up are actually one of the best values right now. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is actually 68% off. Now, cool thing about this, this is actually right from my master bedroom. <laughs> this is the Echo Show that we use there. And I'm actually going to turn the brightness up because I can't see it here. And I'm going to move some of these things out of the way so I can show it to you better. 
This is an Echo Show 5, so it's really kind of cool. And hopefully you guys can see that. So it's a 5-inch screen. So if you're used to using your cell phone, um, like I can say, hopefully, give me one second. I got to mute myself and change the name on this one real quick. So I had to change the name on this because I didn't want to reset all of your devices. But um, consider this like the Echo Dot has very similar capabilities. Computer, play some music. Please don't get me in trouble. So it's playing for my Amazon Music. Let's try not to be a commercialized track. It is, of course. So I can play different songs in here. It's going to have the lyrics scrolling by. Let me show you what that looks like. Hopefully it's not loud enough and I'm talking over it, so won't get me in trouble. So I can adjust it up and down here at the top. So it's playing a song right now for me, and it's showing me the lyrics on it. Now it has a camera capability in here. See that camera in the corner? I'm opening and closing it. This is one of the first Echoes that has two-way video. So you can see them, they can see you, and you can drop in from your phone. So we're going to take a switch over here. Now, if you're going to buy this one, don't buy just the basic one, and I'll tell you why. They've got an incredible deal on this. So the Echo Show 5, this is the second gen, and two GE Sync lights. So if you want smart light bulbs, you can have this with two GE Sync lights for $34.99 right now. That's what I've got pulled up in the carousel. Hopefully you guys are watching that. And Robert Hartman, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that, Robert. Uh, Prime early access day sale here. So uh, I'll be online twice today. I'm going to be online now talking about cool Amazon stuff. And then next hour, we're switching over. We're new all Wise stuff. So Wise got some cool gear. I'm going to show you that as well. So this is the five. The only drawback here, this is a great size for a nightstand. Not a great size for a kitchen, I found out, because um, it is pretty small. It's like a you know iPhone 6 screen on its side. So if you want something a little bit bigger, you can say, hey, uh, computer, show me the kids cam. Okay. So my Wise camera is set up here. I'm just double checking that it's going to show that. Um, so it's connecting to my Wise camera right now. That's what it says. And it's going to show me the screen. <laughs> oh, my kids. Their room is destroyed. So there you go. So that's my kids' room. They're bunk beds right now. And that's actually a panning camera from Wise, so I can pan it around the room. But you can see a room like this. You can use this as a baby monitor if you have a companion Echo. You can connect this. You can say drop in to whatever device name you want and then mute this side. So now you've got a one-way audio listening capability. And we use this for a year or more as a baby monitor at night. Um, so that's cool capability that has. Now I can actually say, computer, show me the playground. Hopefully I still Sorry, got that hooked up. I'm having trouble. Please try it in a little while. Computer, show me the playground. It's asking me which one I want. Playground cam. So now if my kids are outside playing... Well, it did not go through that time. But if the kids are playing outside, I actually have an, a wise outdoor camera that works with this as well. So uh, the Echo Show is important if you want to have video. Now, like I said, we have a drop-in capability. I'm not going to go through all of that. I've done uh, dedicated videos on all of these. But let me pull up the deal of all deals today. This is probably... Uh, one of the best prices I've seen here. So again, we're just taking a look here. There's two of these. Now, don't hit buy just yet because I'm going to show you the 8, the Echo Show 8, which is very similar, and we might want to get that one. So I'm just going to go real quickly into here. Uh, retail price on this one, if you bought the two GE light bulbs individually and then you bought the Show 5, would be $108.98. That's what the before price is. And you can see the sale that this thing is. So you get two smart bulbs and a show to control them 
for $34.99. This would be the best value if you were looking for something cool in the smart home family to give to someone as a gift. And you can send out gifts early now. You can ship them and drop ship them directly. Uh, it ends in one day, it says, or while supplies last. That's another thing here. So um, these are always interesting. I'm going to go back one page and we're going to switch over to one more. Hey, Serene, thanks for checking in. Good to see you, Serene, one of our longtime show people. She's watching on Amazon. I'm going to show you the eight now. The eight is my favorite for a kitchen. So this is actually stolen out of my kitchen over here. This is our Echo Show eight. Um, it was by the coffee maker. So it ended up getting named the coffee show. So when I say I want to drop in to the coffee show, let me see if I can do that here. I'm going to see if I can get this to work. Uh, let me see. Drop into the coffee show. I'll show you guys what's going on over here. So I'm dropping in from my phone to this device, and I'm going to do the two-way video. Drop into the coffee show. Ah, see if it's going to do it. Computer, drop into the coffee show. Oh, it's in do not disturb mode because I turned that off. Okay. Drop into the coffee show. I'm trying not to wake up all of your Lexa devices. So here we go. So I've told this phone to call this one and we'll see. Sorry. Drop into the coffee show. I tell you, I can't win today. Can't win. <laughs> Computer, drop into the coffee show. And now, how did I get this thing set in DND? There we go. Let's turn that off. Drop into the coffee show. There we go. Okay, coffee show is over here. Hopefully, you guys can see that. It's just getting connected. Now, video is off. And I'm going to turn the sound off. But I can see myself. You see me down there? Um, it's coming in to focus now and it's showing the other side of the stuff to me. So I put my hand over here. You can see that. So that's a two way call. Now, what's funny is I'm doing this just across my local Wi Fi. You can do this across the country. Now, I actually bought the Echo Shows for my parents and for my sister and her kids. And we can actually have video calls now. So when they want to talk to the grandparents, they can come up there and then they can say call so and so on it. And it does a two way video call. Now, Everybody's freaking out because I said this was in our master bedroom before. There is this little sliding cover here, and that sliding cover shuts off the video. So camera is off. Camera died here. Uh, but let me show you, actually. I'll turn this back on. So camera back on. So I did that. And let me pull this up so you can see what it looks like. This is my app on my phone. So hopefully... Oh, it doesn't, doesn't let me rotate the screen, unfortunately, already now that I'm here. But you can see me on there, and that's what the screen on my phone looks like. Then I'm going to bring it up over here now. And you can see what the screen on here looks like. So <laughs> it's a little harder to see because, again, I'm moving around. But yeah, I can do a video call for free. Um, internationally, nationally, all works out. And this is with the Echo Show 8. Other cool things you can do with it. I'm going to hang up my call there. Um, some other cool things that you can do with these is recipes so for in the kitchen use i love the echo show 8 because of the larger screen you can do video recipes from food tv so if you want to do something cool that's one of my favorites now right now in the carousel i have it highlighted if you're watching carousels down up over on the sides on pc it's everywhere um, but you look at that the echo show 8 which is normally on itself i think it's a 90 dollar 100 dollar item and two GE Sync smart bulbs for $69. Um, the other one I showed just recently was this five for $34.99 with the same bulb. So fantastic pricing that they've done on both of these. And they do make a great gift. So if you're interested, uh, you can actually use them as a photo frame. This, oh, unfortunately, it's going to go away by the time I can show you guys. That's my boy in the back seat of the car. He was totally asleep, so we took a picture. Uh, but it's got a rotating photo frame. It's got weather. It's got entertainment on it. You can actually play YouTube. You can play 
uh, other video sources on these things. So I've had uh, my kids wanting to do a dance party. They'll come up and they'll hit the button and they'll tell her what to do and play some songs. So always hearing the kids do that. So very cool features here. Just taking a quick look. Zach made it. Zach, my friend, thank you so much for showing up here. Uh, we're getting close to the end of this show. This is the Amazon early access sales show. These are all of the Amazon ecosystem devices. We've gone through almost everything so far today. We've gone through the Echoes. We went through the Fire TV over here, which has already went to sleep. So turn it back on. Went through the Fire TV Stick 4K, which is a great deal. That's another one. And of course it decides to update in the middle of the show, but that's a whole nother thing. Uh, we went through the Echo Dots. So these are your Echo Dots, $17.99 for the third gen, which is still a great value. $24.99 for this heavy duty ball. <laughs> <laughs> this thing uh, is got a lot more speaker and a lot more speaker magnet clearly in it. Um, mainly the same feature set between these, just a lot better sound out of this one. So um, the last product I've got, I'm going to just double check, that I've got on hand. There's a couple other ones I'm going to tell you about that I'm really excited and I'm, I may order them, knock on wood, because um, I want to do them on a future show. You tell me if I should order these and I'll do it. But I uh, wanted to take a quick look here. Um, the last product, and I don't have this one up yet on the carousel, is a new product that I had never seen before. I'm just going to pull it up here. It's called the Amazon Echo Glow. And this is an interesting product for parents. So if you're a parent and you have kids, mine have always had trouble when it comes to sleeping, waking, the youngest ones especially. My one daughter, which is supposed to have all the trouble, she's doing great, which is crazy. But, uh, you know... The older kids, they would barely make it to the bus on time. So we had to get them okay to wake clocks. So this is the Amazon Echo Glow, and it's pretty cool. So it's color changing. Every time you touch it, I'm changing colors with it. Now it's sad because you can't see how vibrant the color is when I'm away here. Just the, the studio lights are so bright, it's washing it out. But when you get up close to the little camera, you can see in the corner there, it's that violet color. So you can tap this and change color. Now I have shown you guys a friendship light set here on the show before and that was that one actually turned out really cool um from 220 they were a really cool sponsor of a show they did a great job but this amazon echo glow is interesting to me because you can actually control it by hour of the day so i can say you know if you want a night light my kids always wanted to sleep with night lights you can have this thing i can say computer oh i don't have that one unmuted Computer, set the Echo Glow to yellow. It did that. Computer, set the Echo Glow to 1% brightness. You can see it's almost completely off. It's like barely, barely on. Computer, set the Echo Glow to 100% brightness. There you go. So now it's super bright. That's, that's the brightest it gets, which is not you know, crazy. It's not going to light up an entire room at night. It'll be a very bright night light. So you can do some things with Amazon routines and this to set up a routine. Now it does have tap capability. Let me open this up here on the app. I'm going to show you, let's see if we can do something fun. I'm trying to think of a routine. Um, I'm going to go here to devices. Let's see. Bold color, first glow. So my glow is a new device. Let's go over here. So I'm going in the Amazon app. This is how you program all this stuff. Now I can change the brightness and you can see it's getting brighter or I can turn it off. That's this device here. If you're just joining, I can change the color of it as well. Crimson, there we go. And then I can go here and I can make it tap sensitive. So I turn tap off. I can tap it. Looks like it's changing the color here. <laughs> so tap off, there we go. Um, so I can turn the tapping back on and then I can create a routine. So there's a couple of these routines they already have. So when enter a routine name, tap. So when tap, when this happens, um, and I'm going to say, let's see, echo button. Ooh, it doesn't have that. I'm trying to look here to see real quick if I can do this with the echo device, the glow. There are ways to set this up and you can do a custom custom routine is what we'd have to do. But let's do this. Let's do this on a schedule at time. You could do sunrise, but let's do time at 6.30 a.m. every day. Next, add action. Uh, where's lighting? 
Do they have that, or is it under going to be under Echoes? <laughs> this is my luck, right? We're doing this live for the first time in here. Smart home, lights, glow. There we go. Next. What do I want to do? I want to turn it on mode. Select campfire. There we go. So uh, when it's 6.34 a.m. every day, this glow will now turn on and it'll look like a campfire. It's going to have that glowing ember look. So again, one of the things you can do, very interesting product for $16.99. I think that they're onto something here because again, like that other product I showed from 220, if you can link these together and create simultaneous routines, it's just a neat thing. My daughter and I have a color code when it's time to play Fortnite, she sets her side to blue. And I know when I'm walking by that that color means that it's Fortnite time. So very cool feature. That is the Echo Glow. So that's a brand new product here. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late on answering your questions. I know we were on a different product here. Name 50 characters only. NetGuy, what's a good quality security camera wireless system on Amazon? Oh, that's a wide open one. I can tell you if you visit, and this is totally self-serving, but if you visit my Amazon shop down there, I have done so many wireless security cameras. It really depends on what you want. If you're going to want uh, a system that's cheap and affordable, Wise makes a lot of really good gear. If you want to use the Blink cameras. Now, I've got the number one video on Blink somehow. I have no idea. And they're selling like hotcakes right now. But the Blink security cameras, these are available right here. Um, those work really, really well. I would recommend them. Either you're going to have to buy the Amazon subscription or I would get the sync module. I have my sync module here. With the sync module, you can store an unlimited amount of footage and not have to pay a monthly fee. So that's another uh, cool thing. But if you visit my Amazon shop, again, totally self-serving uh, here, <laughs> but if you visit my Amazon page, and I'm going to pull it up here. If you visit this and we come down here, you're going to see my ideal list. I have a bunch of these different products that I've done uh, from security systems, from Blink, Blue Rams make some really good. So this is a Blue Ram security camera. If you wanted to look at this one, this is a great one. And I've got a bunch of other products, but Blue Rams makes a very affordable one. Almost all of theirs take SD cards as well. So that's another really cool thing. So thanks for asking that question there. Lots of really good stuff. <laughs> uh oh, I see somebody saying hola in there. I know her. <laughs> Welcome, Jackie. Uh, and the good desk lamp alternative uh it's for outdoors thanks for responding outdoors the blue rams has a 2k outdoor battery powered with a solar panel for like 80 bucks um, let me pull that up for you actually so again um blue rams 2k outdoor here we go so that's what i was just telling you about if you go to my amazon shop you can see all my videos there this is the solar outdoor all of these get cut down into individual videos but it looks like it's $63 right now. That's another Prime Day exclusive. Um, includes the camera and the solar panel right there. So that's another thing. It's got two-way audio, night vision. It is IP66 weatherproof. So that would be a great option if you're looking for that. So uh, answering your question real quick there with a question. <laughs> Depends on what you need. But um, I would highly recommend those guys blue rams make some good stuff so i think that's all of the products that i have on hand now i normally don't show products that i can't show you directly there's a rule on amazon but i'm well legal eagle on that i did want to show you two things because i'm thinking about buying them and if it's cool enough for me uh when it's on sale like this i definitely think it's cool enough for you so let me go in here and i'm gonna show you what i'm also buying today from the amazon pulling it up here i'm just going again to my show page i you know what's funny is i can't buy them myself and and uh, get commission but if you do buy them a lot of the things that you're buying on here do pay me a very small commission but again i've told people when and to buy and not to buy things i'm just pulling it up on the carousel now but this is from jackery now they call this a generator i'm against the name generator but the concept is cool now this one is 300 watts and it's $209. Uh, if you do the math, that works out to 40% off right now, um, which is $140 savings. Now, why would you want one of these? Now, you can go out and buy a gas powered generator. The gas powered generator is going to create fumes, so you can't use it at night. 
Uh, maybe you're somebody that sleeps with a CPAP machine. I'm lucky enough that I don't have sleep apnea and I don't have to, but I know one of my friends did. He had to borrow my quiet Honda generator just so he could you know, sleep at night. This thing has 300 watts. It's a 293 usable watt hours. So this can charge, I believe, a laptop. I think it said four times. So this individual item here, I'm going to pull it up here. Now, it's, it's not going to generate its own electricity. Now, you're still going to need a solar panel with it. But at $209, I just want to introduce you to the deal that this thing is. This is a whole new range of products. And I haven't gotten there myself yet. I haven't bought one of these. But at 40% off, this is one of my uh, items that's on my watch list today. Especially because I actually have a 100-watt solar panel that I can pair up with this thing. So if I'm going somewhere, we go camping on our boat a lot, I can plug this thing into a solar panel when we have no electricity, where a lot of places we go in the San Juan Islands camping. I throw the solar panel on the roof, and now I can charge this thing. The only thing I didn't see on this, which I kind of would have liked, would, it, would be a set of jumper cables to do like a jump pack, which would be another great thing. I don't know if it has that capability, but I wanted to show this thing to you. So this is what they're calling a generator. It's going to charge your cameras, your electronics. They are pretty light. I don't know the exact weight of this one, but um, they are fairly light because of the lithium batteries that they use in them. So different brands are going to use lithium iron phosphate, which are a little bit heavier, a little bit cheaper to make. Uh, this one appears to be the actual lithium batteries here. So compact compared to other ones. So this is the, the improved battery technology they're talking about. So it's 40% smaller than the lithium iron phosphate ones and 30% lighter, which is awesome. Now, again, there's a Mavic they're showing. They showed somebody cooking with one of these. Now that's going to be your bigger items here. So we're just taking a look here at the Jackery power station. Like I said, this is one I'm probably going to buy, you know, when I get off the show here, because uh, I, I want one of these and I can pair it up with my solar panel and I'll do a full review for you guys, let you know what I think. But it is the number one choice right now for outdoor generators. It's beating gas power generators. Now, if you want a little bit more power output, you don't care about the weight. Um, looks like this one here from Blue Eddy, Blue Eddy, Blue T. Um, has a solar generator, same price. This was the, has the lithium iron phosphate batteries in it. Um, so that's going to be a little bit bigger. There's also bigger ones. That one's going to have a 300 watt max, which that's about two laptops, two heavy duty laptops pulling from it for an hour. Um, but if you want bigger ones, they have a thousand watt version. And we were looking at them last night. These things go crazy up to like 1500 watts. You can run microwaves off them. And I literally saw somebody that was running a um you know inverter cooker with it which i thought was crazy so you're going to take your toaster and cooker and all that stuff so it's like you're never leaving at home but from jackery this is one of the products that i was very excited to check out and like i said i'll probably come back with a full review uh, on it and anders uh asked here he says i want to see how much battery capacity i would need to power 200 uh, to 250 watts for one and a half to two hours it's a really good question. So this one's saying that it has 293 watt hours of capacity. So if you're using the 200 watt side, all things being perfect, you could get a little over an hour and a half probably out of this thing. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a little bit higher to get to that level. And again, this is going to be working where generators will not. Um, the other thing is if you have solar, like I have a 100 watt solar panel, this does have a built in charge controller with it. So when you plug the input side there, that's the little connectors they have, the proprietary. When you plug that in, it's going to act as its own charging controller. So it's going to regulate the power. Now, a couple cool things. How do you recharge this thing? So once it, once it dies, how do you put more power back into it, right? Um, very, very similar to everything else. And it has multiple different types of inputs. Um, it's got input from wall current. So you can plug this thing into a wall. You can plug it into a uh, cigarette lighter adapter, so it's got that capability as well. And then it's going to have a 12-volt port on it. I'm just trying to see if it has any other uh, stuff. There's the charging times. Now, they're all going to say 80% because, honestly, you don't want to float these things more than 80% most of the time. So it's going to get to 80% in three and a half hours on the wall. It's going to get there four and a half on the solar panel, which knock on wood is really fast. I think they're being a little generous there. Um, and if you want to run a laptop wall outlet plus USB power delivery, you can get it in two hours. Okay, so you're charging from whatever device uh, into it. 
power delivery spec is so cool. It's bi-directional charging. So it takes 90 watts in, puts out 300 watts. So you're getting an inverter and all that in one. The one thing I didn't notice, and I guess I really need to figure this out when I get mine, is does it have grounded receptacles? I see a really wide open grounding port there, which I can't tell if that means that it's actually grounded or you know what it's doing there. Um, because most of the things I don't care about, but if it does have a ground prong on it, it just may not fit. So that's one of the things I need to look at. Uh, and I'll tell you what I find out. So very cool. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in there. That was uh, most of the products. There's one left on my list, and that's only because if you're looking for it. Now, I might buy this again because it's such a great deal for my church. I noticed this one here. If you're looking for a television and you're trying to just find the absolute best deal out there, and I'm trying to see if I actually have this added the way it was supposed to. So it's not going to pop up in the carousel. It's only going to be here. Um, but let's see where it was. I had the insignia. Oh, it's not going to be on here. Um, insignia fire 32. They are blowing this thing out. It's another deal. The F20 here. It's an older model, but $99. So you're going to get a 32 inch television with the smart capability. So if you're looking at a $24 fire TV stick, you can get the whole TV for $75 more. So this was one other item that I was looking at, and we might get one of these for our church because we actually have a hall display in our church, and it's kind of acting up. So we were looking at getting this. That's another thing that's really cool on Prime Early Access Sale Days. Now, I will be back here in about 45 minutes just to give you guys a heads up on the, uh, the show. You're going to get notified again if you're following me on Amazon or you're going to get notified again if you're following me on YouTube, hopefully, knock on wood here. And we're going to be checking out a whole bunch of Wise gear. I'm going to have the, the, the fake wall here that I, I do all my smart technology with. So we're going to check out some Wise gear. That's coming up. Let me show you a little graphic of what that looks like here. So that's at 6.30 today. We're going to have the Wise deals. Now, Wise has a whole bunch of cool tech for uh, sale today. Let me go back out. And I'll show you what we're going to look at. I'll just bring up my idea list again one more time. And then we'll shut down here. But if you go into my idea list, these are, if it, it piques your interest, what we're going to talk about today. There are three main categories of products. So the Wise Cam V3, again, $35 free shipping. That's one of the best cameras out there. Color night vision, again, superb picture quality. Um, they're adding it to garage door controllers. They've got a bunch of other cool stuff with sockets. Um, different things. That's just an ecosystem that just keeps getting better and better. They have three different combinations. And what's sad is they sold them all out this morning. It looks like you can just get the wise lock by itself, but that's the lock that I use in the front of my home. So I trust that one. It works really well. I also use it with the keypad, which I'd highly recommend. And then they have the wise video doorbell. That's the, uh, you know, older version of it there. Uh, that one's the wired one. That's not the battery powered one, but they have a pretty good combination. Hopefully those will come back in stock one of these days. And then they have another category of products. That's the floodlight cameras. Now you can get two different kinds. They have it with a 32 gig memory card for $91. Honestly, I'd save a little bit of money and take it with this one that has the three months of cam plus for free. So grab this guy and then you can take that six, $7 that you have extra kicking around in your pocket and you get a 64 gig, uh, micro SD, uh, from somebody else. <laughs> so I would recommend that their plug is available for $8 and 30 cents. So I did show you the Amazon smart plug that was 12 99 right now. These guys beat them by almost 30%. It looks like. So the wise plugs coming on sale, the wise color bulb, which that blue and purple that you see in my studio is the wise color bulb. And lastly, the Wise Outdoor Plug. When we're talking about Christmas, Christmas lights, this is the product to get. $12.50 is a steal for this product. Uh, it does have energy monitoring built in, so you can actually watch how much energy those Christmas lights are using. It does have the smart capabilities to integrate with uh, the lady who shall not be named, the Echo devices, as well as the Google Home Assistant, Google devices. So that is what's coming up. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you're interested in that, that will be here at 6.30 Pacific time in roughly 40 minutes. Enough time for me to sweep all this out of here, download the cameras and get going again here at 6.30. So uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We'll do this again here in 45 minutes or so, but this has been John the Net Guy. I'm signing off for now. I will be back shortly. I will see you all soon.